types. There's a couple of different types of redding systems. Uh, there's a winter redding, field redding, and tank redding. All of them are using natural bacteria to separate the fiber from the herd. Hey y'all, I'm super excited to bring you another episode today. Today we are in New Woodstock, New York at CMY Hemp Processing with Steve Holland. I wanna take a deeper look at the actual stock and there's many different components. If you wanna go through each layer of this stock here, I think that would be neat sure. for our viewers because it, it is really interesting and I think there's a lot of confusion and misunderstanding on um, each piece and what each piece can do. Sure, yeah, yeah. So, so basically in your, in your stock breakdown, when you, when you look at the end, you can see the, uh, the fiber going around the outside and then the woody center is the herd. So through, uh, through the redding process. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Come anyway. Come on, you're the bast. I'm, yeah, the bast fiber, <laughs> yes, yeah. So as you can see, the outside has a, has a fibrous outside layer and then a woody, woody center, which is, which is the herd. So the redding process will um, have bacteria get inside and separate the fiber from the herd and uh, that redding process will loosen it up so then you can use decortication to separate this fiber from the herd in the center of the stock. There's a couple of different types of redding systems. Uh, there's a winter redding, field redding, and tank redding. All of them are using natural bacteria to separate the fiber from the herd. Uh, tank redding is it's, it's submerged in water with bacteria. Uh, field redding is just the natural process of it getting rained on and then uh, warming up and the dew and drying out and everything else. Um, and then a winter redding is actually where you leave the stalks standing and then um, the you know, the winter will actually break down that fiber so it's easier to process, which a lot of times can be a lot easier on the farmer because you don't have to worry about fiber laying down in the field for 30 to 40 days. With the tank redding system, um, we've also worked on, you know, the, the leftover water. Um, after that redding process, instead of throwing that away, we had it tested and come to find out it's pulling a lot of the nutrients out of the hemp fiber, and uh, which can then be refined into a fertilizer as well. So we really have no waste whatsoever. So um, there's there's so no, cool. uh, no environmental uh, problems whatsoever. Actually, we, 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 don't, we call them environmental benefits because we really, we're not doing any sort of pollution. We're actually just making the world a better place. 